So today we are back in Floating Sandbox and Komodo figures out the power of lightning. That and we have way too much fun with a bunch of antimatter bombs and tearing ships in half. So if you guys want to see more Floating Sandbox, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, I joined the Floating Sandbox community the other day, their Discord, where I was told there was many great ships and the, one of the first things that I saw was a dead meme. It is the Among Us ship that is going currently down to the bottom of the ocean. Now, I had to download this thing because, you know, why not? Why would you not get such a sus looking little character and send it to the bottom of the ocean where it belongs? But there are some really good ships on the Discord. This is by Tim Can, which this is one of the ship creators, also a YouTuber. And there are just a ton of different ship packs uh, on there. And a lot of them have really cool like interiors. Why does this have five engines? Uh, this is a nuclear powered ship. Um, what is going on? Hold on, let's activate all of them. Uh, is this like foolproof? Like if one of the uh, compartments were to go down, it could still travel forward. Also, is that heat? Is the ship getting hot? Whoa, okay. So a nuclear ship would probably... Oh. Okay, so it definitely was getting hot. Um, <laughs> Komodo should really not play with nuclear ships. What kind of catastrophe did we just create in the ocean if a nuclear ship blows up? Um, <laughs> hopefully the radiation's contained. Well, this is fine. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if I lower the temperature of the water in the air, if it would prevent it from exploding. That is a very good question. So I just spawned in the ship and I think it's naturally getting hot. Now, uh, Tim can... Uh, also has a lot of other really cool ships that we're gonna check out a couple of those But yeah, as soon as I saw a nuclear-powered ship, I was like, why not? Um, this one hasn't exploded yet, so uh, Let's see if we can cool down the air a bit. Okay, my temperature is set as low as possible as far as the water No, nope, it still is a ticking time bomb <laughs> I don't think there is a saving the nuclear ship. I do have a couple tools uh, There's like a cool blast we might be able to do Maybe we can keep it cold long enough. Okay, here's the cold blast. Uh, we're putting it right on the reactor, I'm assuming. Um, I don't think this is actually helping. We might need to be in ultra violent mode. Nope, this, no, this is not working at all, I don't think. It's still heating up. Uh, this ship is literally just a bomb on the ocean. Um, no, this is fine. Uh, maybe we should check out a different ship. Probably would be a little bit wiser. Uh, well, it hasn't exploded yet. I'll give it that. You know, I really do wish I know how you can make the water super hot I wish you could freeze the ocean like I feel like that'd be a neat feature in this game Well, to be honest with you I've been going at this for a couple minutes and it hasn't exploded So I think the cooling it down is actually a thing But as soon as I release it's gonna heat up and explode So we probably better get out here and check out a, maybe another ship so now this is a cool ship. This is also by Tim Can, and I believe Jesse Gillette had a little bit of uh, input on this, which I'm subscribed to uh, actually both of them now. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, MTS Oceanos. Uh, there actually is a sync button on this. That is a thing in this game that I didn't know existed. So you can actually simulate the actual sinking. So let's activate the horn real quick. Uh, horn seems to be maybe broken. Hold on, let's toggle our lights. So it's got lights. Uh, you got the little stack exhaust here, toggle, uh, diesel engine, so that's on. Uh, we can actually send it forward. So yeah, sync buttons, that's the thing. Hold on, let's go ahead and go back down. Let's just toggle it. So it's actually pumping in water. Uh, this is actual real sink in, uh, real life. And I'm assuming this is supposed to kind of simulate where it was taking on water. And yeah, you can see it filling up all the compartments. It's actually really neat looking. Uh, is there a chance we could save it? Well, I mean, we probably could save it by cutting out the two pumps that are pumping in all the water. But yeah, an actual sink button on something in Floating Sandbox. Oh man, it's starting to accelerate now. That thing is going to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, shall we try to save it? So what happens if I do, uh, cut out maybe the, uh, the two pumps real quick? I know it's gonna take on a lot more water, but maybe we can counter this. Okay, pump, say goodbye. Yoink. There you go, you can't pump in any water. Like, was it pumping in so much that this is actually gonna slow it down? Yep, that awkward moment when it's not slowing it down. Uh, we need to have like a gummy tool where you can like stick something and like gum up one of the uh, holes in the ship. You've got the repair tool, which I think the camera's trying to take me down. Uh, nope, we didn't save this at all. It's following the pumps, which are still actually pumping at the moment. 
Um, let me turn those off real quick. There we go. Uh, we saved it. Uh, to an extent. Nope, it's definitely going down. Oh, it is accelerating. Oh, this thing's gonna smash the ocean floor. Okay, this thing is accelerating. It hasn't, like, crushed itself. I'm trying to pump out water as fast as possible. What if I were to, like, repair this thing real quick? It is accelerating down pretty fast. Come on, repair. Nope, is that working? Wait, so if I repair it, do the pumps go back? Can I reverse the pumps? Uh, I don't think that's a thing. Oh, it is going so fast right now. I'm trying, you know, if this was ultra violent mode, I might be able to repair this. Uh, this is definitely not. Oh, yeah, we are completely done. It has smashed the bottom of the ocean and there it goes. So, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities uh, with the uh, the discord and some more ships that we can check out. I've got another one uh, by MTF that I want to check out. It's actually the Queen Mary. So check out this behemoth. This thing is massive. This one doesn't appear to have power or anything, but I'm assuming it does have the separate comp. Uh oh. Uh, oh, these are just really, really big compartments here. Uh, I like this one, though. This one's pretty nice. Uh, we should probably repair this and maybe melt it. Look at this. I fixed the ship. Uh, it's got a little water on there. We could easily pump it out. Uh, how does the Queen Mary do against a tsunami? Oh, there it is on the rear of the ship. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, it is accelerating over. I think we can also edit this one too. We should probably put rocket boosters on it and see if we can jump the tsunami. Oh, here it comes. All right, here it goes. Uh, this thing looks pretty sturdy. It still looks like it's taken on water, but I think the water is actually moving and oh. Wait, is the Queen Mary tsunami proof? You gotta be kidding me. That thing, it barely even flinched. Why does this seem so strong? This is also a massive ship, by the way, uh, compared to a lot of the other ones we check out in the game. Like that was no problem at all. There's a little bit of water getting into the top of the ship. Uh, there's a the little, I think those are exhaust ports. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing that happened there. All right, I feel like we need to really kick up the waves. Uh, let's get a storm in here too. Okay, winds are gonna go up to hurricane force winds. Oh, this is fine. Oh, there's the rain. It's definitely flaw. Oh, okay. I think the wind was enough to start to break this thing. It's creating decent sized waves. Oh, we've got a big gash uh, right in the middle. Is it going to snap it in half? Uh, I wouldn't say it's actually at the halfway point. That's a little over to the left side. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. The thing is like tsunami proof, but it's definitely not hurricane proof. Holy man. He snapped that bad boy and it is going to go down to the bottom of the ocean. That was a uh, rather pretty wait Question is is the back is it secure enough? You know if we cut off some of the dead weight Maybe we can keep this thing from here. Let's oh, come on. It's still going. Oh that actually accelerated that Wait, where's the actual like separation? Uh, in the bottom of the ship. Maybe like the little compartments. Nope, there is not a way we're saving this. Wait, hold on. Hold on, if we can outlast the uh, the old storm here, let's kill the waves real quick. All right, wind's gonna go back down. Uh, actually, did I just reverse it? There we go. It's at zero. You know, the front of the ship might actually be okay right now. Yeah, it's weird. The rear of the ship is actually floating too. This is a really well-built ship. I mean, everybody in the middle was pretty much screwed and they're going to the bottom of the ocean, but that was a thing. Also, I just now realized it's raining under the water right now. So that was awesome, but I have another big boy here. This one actually wasn't on the Discord. This is in the game. Uh, this is a massive cruise ship, and I love these modern cruise ship designs. Uh, they're like massive towers, and I figured, you know what? Let's see how this one's separated. Is there compartments in here? Uh, there are pumps and locks. I'm assuming there is, Hans. Huh? Lock these. Oh, there is. So if we were to punch a hole here, uh, it would fill up, but it's gonna stop, right? Wait, where are the pumps at? Are the pumps on the doors too? Dude, this thing could probably take a ton of damage and still be okay. Uh, let's do another hit up here, and maybe another one up here, and another one up here. Watch the water line. Does it actually go down? Uh oh. <laughs> Um, I think it just lost electricity. What did we, wait, where was that at? Was that in the front? <laughs> Something just got wet that wasn't supposed to get wet. And I think it is actually slowly going down now. Well, we can always just make our uh, problems disappear by Thanos snapping a cruise ship. Hold on, this one's gonna be really satisfying. There we go. And then there comes my, my frame rate's actually going back up right now. 
Oh, and it's almost all the way back. Oh, man, the Thanos snap is so satisfying. This thing's so massive, though. I kind of wonder, can you pull it apart with antimatter bombs? Uh, that might be a thing. This is also the longest Thanos snap ever. Normally, it's really quick with the ships, but this one's so massive. And look at all the particles float to the bottom of the sea. It's like raining particles of ship. Actually, it looks kind of like fish food. So there's a tool in here that I don't remember ever playing with uh, called the electrical spark. Before we pull this thing apart with the antimatter bombs, I kind of am curious, what did we trigger down there with the water to make the power go off? So this electrical spark actually travels throughout the ship. Like it can turn off lights. Uh, you can see it affecting them here. And then eventually they should cut back on, but there's got to be a main power source here. I wonder if you could heat this long enough, it would actually maybe burst into flames or start to melt. Well, there actually is ultraviolet mode. Okay, so ultraviolet mode's on. Let's go ahead with electricity here. Oh, dude, it's actually burning the ship. Oh, the lifeboats are catching on fire. That is mighty impressive. Uh, we've got the power of Thor here and we're lighting up the whole ship. I like the burn marks it's actually creating on the side. Uh, I think this thing's uh, completely fried as far as electronics. So it's gonna burn holes into it. Hold on, let's go ahead and light up these other ones. Let's keep it in one area. What if I were to keep it in the bottom of the ship? I know it's probably being cooled by water somewhat, but man, I wonder if I can get it hot enough it'll start to melt. Uh, hold on, let's go back up here. The lifeboat's melting. Uh, it's not drooping though. All right, let's keep it up here. Oh. Wait, where are those holes coming from? Is the electricity creating those? Wait, what? Uh, that is a thing. Oh, it's definitely starting to combust here. We are melting parts of the ship with lightning and we're gonna sink it. Uh, let's just keep the front end here. This middle part seems to be fairly weak on it. I'm not gonna lie, this is ultra satisfying to see. Oh, uh, look at that. Look how hot it's getting. That's so cool. Uh, it's taking on a ton of water. There's a chance it's gonna break in half here. So let's keep focus into this area. Keep it like molting hot and see if we can make it melt. Okay, I'm trying to break it. I'm surprised it hasn't broken uh, under the pressure. Uh, but no, it's starting to cool down now. It's uh, in the water. That is cool though. I actually really like that tool. All right, it's gonna have a whole ton of pressure. This is a massive ship, by the way. This thing should snap. We're gonna give it a nice spike to land on here. There we go. Uh, it should come down right on it. Oh, it's broken in half. There it goes. So what's the top half gonna do? That's a good question. All right, so there it goes. It is going down. Look at it disintegrate. That's insane looking. That's a really cool tool. I'm really surprised we haven't used that more. All right, so there it goes. For front half's down. Is the second half gonna sink? It is definitely taking on water. It's only a matter of time. Yep, there goes the front end. The front end has been obliterated. That is cool looking. And then here comes the back end. But I don't know if it's gonna get more satisfying than that. I guess we're gonna have to do the antimatter bomb. All right, folks, hold on to your butt cheeks. It's about to get a little messy. Let's go one antimatter bomb and then we'll pull it apart with multiple. Oh, what the heck? Uh, the camera is trying to rip me away right now. Oh, that is so cool looking. And there it goes. Uh, those things are still ultra satisfying. I mean, it's on ultra violent mode. I almost wonder if we should have done a uh, normal one. Uh, there it goes. It's just gonna spit out all the pieces. There are really no big pieces left, I don't think. Okay, let's go ahead and just turn that off for a second. All right, let's go one of these. Uh, don't think it's gonna be quite as strong. The camera's still trying to rip itself up. Okay, got the camera fixed there. It was trying to focus in on something that shot off the screen. So here we go. Uh, this is one antimatter without the ultra violent mode. Uh, the ship is wobbling. Uh oh, it's starting to twist. Oh, it's still enough. Uh, uh, not quite as devastating as the ultra violent mode, but geez, that was pretty good. So I bet you we could tear it in half with two. Let's have them pull in the opposite direction. So let's go one here, one here. Okay, which way is it gonna rip here? Is it gonna actually tear in half now? 
Come on. Uh, waiting for it. Oh. Wait, what? Did we create like the perfect like? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, they didn't quite rip in half like I thought it was going to, but that was pretty darn close. That was satisfying. Uh, I like that. I like that a whole lot. Those antimatter bombs are amazing. Oh, and then we get the the legendary. This is like the OG music that I remember uh, for the sinking. Very beautiful. Such a touching sight. You just watched a cruise ship full of people get obliterated and exploded through the air. Nice. So we could just do a straight up demolition job with bombs right up the middle of this thing. There we go. Oh, uh, on. I want them all kind of even. Uh, it looks pretty good right there. Okay, place them all the way up to the top of the ship. All right, let's detonate them. Here we go. And oh, see, that was a surprisingly clean uh, explosion up the middle there. Uh, sure, there's a lot of damage, but I mean, that was satisfying. Uh, I wonder if just the clean slice would be the way to go. I, just, I like seeing the ships uh, cut in half because sometimes, like I said, uh, one of the sides will actually stay up. Uh, that was pretty nice, though. I like that one. Uh, let's just do a clean slice, though. But yeah, there's always the option for the clean slice. There we go. That was almost completely perfect. And it's going to slowly cave in. Uh, the front half has electricity, which is nice. And there it goes. And we could just carve up some more. Uh, write the words help in there. So it's like help. Oh, even though we are not helping the back half of this. There we go. Help. <laughs> we could write please on the front, but I think we're going to spare the front passengers. I still think ultimately it is going to sink. Uh, here, let's turn on the pumps and locks. I don't know if that's going to do us any good. Uh, also, this one's horn is dead. Wait, does it still drive? Nope, doesn't drive. I'm assuming all the engine stuff was in the back. Uh, oh, there's this little cable. Hold on, we, we better cut that. We don't want that taking down the ship. Well, the front has a little bit longer. Uh, we can help them deploy the lifeboats real quick by cutting them off. There we go. All right, everybody, just go ahead and escape via lifeboat. The rest of the ship's going to go down. You know what always scares me every time I see these ships? I guess the lifeboats hold a ton of people because it never looks like there's enough. <laughs> Probably why I'll never go on a cruise ship. But not sure what we learned here today. Had a ton of fun. We'll see you guys next time.